Students, this is ISIE M Math 2021 objective paper solution. And today we are solving question number 15, 16, both. So, straight line passes through the intersection of the lines given by these two and makes an equal <coughs> intercepts of the same sign to the coordinate axis. The equation of the straight line they have asked. Pretty direct question. Uh, so 3x minus uh, 4y. So just solving the given two equation, we get uh, 3x minus 4y equal to minus 1, 5x plus y equal to plus 1. So this will be multiplied by 4. Okay. So 23x equal to 5. So x equal to uh, 3 23x uh, okay this is minus minus tick yeah <coughs> so 3 so 3 by 23 y equal to 8 by 23 so the line we are looking for it passes through these two point okay and makes an equal and positive intercept with the coordinate axis so if this thing goes on uh, so the slope of such lines equal to minus 1 so the equation will be formed as x plus y equal to b x plus y equal to b so you just put these values so 3 by 23 8 by 23 equal to b so 11 by 23 so once we get it so the equation of the line is x plus y equal to uh, 11 by 23 so the final answer is 23x so this d Let's go to the next one. Now summation of structure is being provided and we need to find out where it converges. Okay, pretty direct. So let xn equal to 3 dot 6 dot 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 3n divided by 7 dot 10 dot 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 3n plus 4. Without the summation we are writing. So another product so you can write it as 3j and this 3j plus 4 j equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n so now applying the ratio test c x n by x of n plus 1 so 3 n plus 1 plus 4 by 3 into n plus 1 so this tends to 1 as n tends to infinity so hence the radius of convergence of the power series equal to 1. So the series is convergent if mod x less than 1 and divergent if mod x greater than 1. So we now have the problem at x equal to 1. So n equal to xn, xn plus 1 minus n plus 1. This will get to 1 by 3 as n tends to infinity. So hence there exists n such that for cam small n capital equal to n. So we have n xn, xn plus 1 minus n plus 1 rather than 1 by 4. Okay. So equivalently n xn minus n plus 1 xn plus 1 greater than 1 by 4 xn plus 1. So taking the sum from n equal to capital N to n equal to capital N plus p minus 1 we can see that n c n minus n plus p c n plus p greater than 1 by 4. So this will be summation of n which is n plus 1 to n plus p so certainly we just put these values so summation of n plus p to n plus 1 x n for n c n so the sequence has a partial sum and it is bounded and the series is convergent so if we go back to the options so option number a is correct